Hello again. Um, my son just turned three, so I thought I'd do just a quick video on what we do for birthdays. Now, this is one thing that I'm judged on a lot. Um, this is something that, even if you're a holistic parent, I think that um, a lot of people, you know, think that things are very important. So, um, first off, we are a pretty low-income family, and I don't think that things are the most important. And um, birthdays, although I really enjoy celebrating them, I don't think that they should be for children about getting lots of presents. So, with that idea in mind, um, until they turn three, we normally don't do any kind of actual celebration or birthday party. It's just, um, you know, they're another year older. <laughs> they don't even notice, really, until they're three. So when they're three is their first um, actual birthday. And normally what they get to do is whatever they want for the day. They get to choose something that they want to do if we can afford it. And spend the day however they want. They get one small um, present. Our limit is usually $15. And if when that happens, they also get rid of other things in their playroom so that we don't get too many things going on. I mean, their playroom is absolutely chock full of toys. It's not like we don't get them toys. Um, <clears throat> they also get a trip to the thrift store where they get to spend the same amount of money, about $15 which is a lot if we're going to the thrift store. There's a lot of little things. Normally my son, you know, chooses little cars and stuff, which is exactly what he did. He found a couple of those little bags you get at the thrift store with uh, little metal cars in it and some little tractors. And then he actually bought a brand new set of little trucks and a tiny little wooden helicopter. So, and I order those through a uh, natural toy site. Um, Mulka is one of the children's favorites. Um, anyway, see days that they choose. Normally, all of them just choose to spend another day with the family. That's what they enjoy doing. My son, all he cared about was his cake and um, having lots of balloons. So we got them balloons, which of course is awful because they pop them. <laughs> and the sound is atrocious. But uh, he got balloons. And then his cake, I made him a gluten-free, wasn't vegan, it was a gluten-free vanilla, and then he wanted pineapple and blueberries. So what I did was made him a cream cheese frosting um, with coconut oil and um, put a layer of like a pineapple ganache type, it's a date sweetened pineapple sauce on top, and then the top layer had, of course, the cream cheese frosting and then blueberry, and then I put fresh blueberries all over the top. I have a picture of it, but um, he actually thought it was too sweet because they're used to mostly eating fruit, so he didn't eat a whole lot of it. Uh, the girls <laughs> kind of ate more than he did. He's kind of funny that way. He doesn't really like sweet things. In fact, he doesn't like chocolate at all. I'll give him a piece of chocolate, and he just kind of spreads it everywhere instead of actually eating it. So... That's what we do for birthdays. Um, the next one we have coming up is February. My daughter will be turning seven, my oldest one. And she likes to go to the bowling alley, so we'll probably go to the bowling alley and again get her a small new toy and a trip to the thrift store. And they seem to really enjoy that, but everywhere I go people feel that I'm depriving them. Um, there was a woman at the thrift store when I took my son for his third birthday trip who had to buy him something because she thought that that wasn't an acceptable birthday celebration thing. <laughs> so he got an extra toy from a stranger at the store. But anyway, that's what we do as a low-income family for birthdays and um, emphasizing non-materialism and non-commercialism in our children. And it's actually working. My six-year-old, you know, the other day we were looking at brand new clothing compared to thrift store clothing, and she was saying, you know, one shirt cost as much money as an entire bag of clothes from the thrift store. I'm sure it won't stay that way her entire life. She'll eventually want, you know, new clothes too, but it's kind of fun now until she gets upset about it. <laughs> so there's that, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.